Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. So they nerfed one of the early game strategies that had to do with the ancestral automatons. Now those were the small mechs and it had a passive like aura like buffs for each one that not just you played throughout the game, that you summoned throughout the game. So this is a pretty powerful effect. It was actually a little bit too powerful. It recently got nerfed, but I'm here to tell you that it didn't really get nerfed. In my experience, and I have played quite a lot this patch, the Ancestral Automaton builds were really good, but they never really were like winning lobbies. A lot of people kind of overcommitted to them, and a lot of the time they'd get like second or third place, which, you know, you can consider a win if you like, sure, but it's not a first place. To get first place, you typically had to play a different mech build. I usually utilize the automatons to kind of leap into an endgame strategy because I'd get a few early automatons. Maybe I'd get the trinket, and the trinket is still good, and basically it would just allow me to level super fast. Now, I think automatons are just as good after the nerf because they're still going to beat just about everything in the first, like, eight or nine rounds, and then they're going to still lose to most things after that. So it really doesn't change very much. There's going to be few cases where that nerf actually makes any difference whatsoever. So with that in mind, I highly recommend that you play heroes that can take advantage of spawning additional automatons through combat, there's a few options there. Lich King is quite good at giving an early reborn. Uh, you have Gorfine, which can directly kill it, which is actually probably the best one. And you also have the great Akazamzarak, which is the highlight of today's video. You can summon a 3-3 copy of your first minion that is attacked, and through taunt mechanics, you can make sure that is the exact automaton that you're looking to use it on. Enjoy the game. Is that just because of the automatons? Man, that's kind of cool. I didn't think about that. I'll give it a try, actually. Supreme executive power. Keeping score is a lot of work, but I love it. Oh. And the crowd goes wild before it doesn't hit I mean there's no guarantee this will work yet Play your best out there That one's a rookie. It's so much better over bridges. It's not gonna survive with the Divine Shield thing. It'll still attack itself. Divine Shield won't help there. I've been keeping score. The main way it survives is if my 5 1 gets attacked first. Play fair and you'll catch up. I'll do what I can. Escape the darkness with me. Different story here, though. The copy survives. Yes. That's not how that works, though. <laughs> I've been keeping score. You are good. Time 
for a bigger megaphone. Go to sleep. That's right. Redemption. I think a medal is in your future. Yes, I guess redemption's pretty good, yeah. No, this does more damage. Because it gets buffed. Yeah, it does the damage. Yeah, that is better. We got the automaton one. I like that a lot. I got the slimy. I've never seen a better slimy. But this is a really good automaton. Yeah, automatons might actually be the best build until like turn 11 or 12, but some lobbies end there, so it's probably worth just running with it for now. I've been keeping score. You are good. Probably. Plays well. Imagine hitting on Leapfrog and playing this. So this gets beat by just about any build after like turn 13 or 14. Pretty much anything. See this board? See this? 6,000, 4,000, 600, 350. 1,300, 900. Even this thing is over 200 in stats total. Over 300, actually. See the opponent. Two trinkets that do absolutely nothing. Golden Macaw, which is a Tavern 3. Non-Golden, Non-Golden Leapfrog, which is a Tavern 2. Unbuffed Tavern... Is it a 3 now? I don't know. Unbuffed Tavern 6 and an Unbuffed Baron. I lost this fight, and it wasn't close. He had four minions left at the end. You can get this board together in like two turns on Tavern 4. Like it's, it's absolutely idiotic. This build, you have to play the whole game, scale it marginally every single turn. You have to fully commit to it. You need a trinket that costs seven. And it still loses to just about everything if the game goes into actual endgame. <laughs> how is this worse than Leapfrog? I don't understand that. How do you how do you rationalize that? Like, for me to have beaten that Leapfrog, I would have needed, like, an extra 20,000 stats on my board. Like, I did the math, my whole board there has about 15,000 stats. So I'd need in the ballpark of 35,000 to win against unbuffed Tavern 2 cards. And the crazy thing is that guy wasn't even playing the optimal version. People just don't know how to play it yet. The optimal version uses an unbuffed Mana Saber. Seriously, an unbuffed Tavern 1 is key to that build. 
Why unbuffed? Well, you want it to die when it's it's time to attack. If you buff it, it's worse. <laughs> Good luck, MVP. The only reason beasts are like a little bit weak is because people don't know the optimal setup yet. But they'll figure it out pretty soon. Don't worry about that. Quest buddy or trinkets? Uh, I think buddies are, are the best. Quests have the innate problem that you have too much of a power spike. Like, you kind of make your build and the quest just, like, turbocharges, if you get a decent one anyway. You're at the top and the both board. those things happen on the same turn. Like, turn 7, 8, 9, around there. And yeah, that's really problematic. in the trophy case. I guess that's a decent spell. Good play. Here's your coin. Feel the beat. Put me back together again. Weird choice to not reborn the other robot. It's turn 10 and there's 7 people alive. The build I'm currently playing is not getting first place. This Basically, I'm mindful of that. Sport. We're gonna try to play Murkai Magnetics. Good luck, MVP. Gotta trade them out now and then. Decompress! Play some music! 
I think we play this. Put me back together again. Two gold next turn is a lot. Rakari? No, this thing fills the board. We'd rather have that. You're at the top of the board. Uh, maybe we should have played it. Oh, that sucks. Never lucky. That's actually extremely unlucky. Yeah, if, if I attack first, you just absolutely cannot win. Looks like a tense game. MVP. Not a single one landed on the automaton. That is unbelievable. <laughs> That's just. Oh, you think it hits one target and spams it? I don't think so, but maybe. That might explain it. You might be right. I might just uh, not have known that. Interesting. Gotta <laughs> trade him out now and then. out your team.
star athlete, friend. If you use the detaunt on the beatboxer, it never gets it again. Didn't realize I clicked that, but okay, okay. Some champion. Strikes your goal. Speed of up. Yeah, but put okay. me back together again. A strong athlete. Recruit some champions. You ought to fill really out should the get the other, but Crazy animation time. Yeah, I, I boomed there. I didn't even pick that one. What the hell? That's kind of bad. Too late. Your turn is over. Champions. Yeah, we gotta go fast because we gotta look for our specific cards.
that's not bad. I've been keeping score. You are good. I really needed to triple the uh all of that. Scam next turn. If I can triple the lullaby, it won't matter. Good pick. Make sure to recruit some champions. Nice. Make sure to recruit some champions. I should maybe get like some reborn actually. Some of those mechs would be pretty good. I could probably do that like last. lock that happens basically. Okay. That one's a rookie. Um Probably me moving that card's not gonna work. Yeah. <laughs> You're at the top of the board. I skipped one, did I? Actually, if that hits properly. Whip. Yep. That's exactly what I told you guys. The automaton build wouldn't have gone the distance. I needed to play two builds there. 